Welcome to the trial run of Car Free 42nd Street! Yay! I'm Paul Steely White, the Executive Director of Transportation Alternatives. We have a crisis coming up with the impending L shutdown and we're trying to get ahead of it and put forth a proposal to turn 14th Street into a people way. What we're doing here is very subversive. We are really changing the equation on New York City streets. Many New Yorkers know that it's not uncommon for cars to park on the sidewalk, to uh, bully pedestrians in intersections. Today is the day when we met out a little street justice, when we take back what actually was originally ours. Oh, 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 the crown jewel of New York, the most famous park in New York and the world. For three hours in the morning, and again for four hours in the afternoon, the solitude, refuge, and really livability of Central Park is severely compromised by thundering traffic. And if we have anything to offer the world as a best practice, I think it's what we're doing here today. It's realizing that Vision Zero only works when citizens become involved. We are touring New York City with Congressman Earl Blumenauer, a hero to um, anyone in the United States who wants to make cities more livable, more bikeable, more walkable, and it's a pleasure to have him in the big city today. We're showing him bike facilities we love and those that we think should be improved. This is 6th Avenue, which most cyclists would probably agree is not the ideal bike lane scenario. I think we're just waiting for the official word and we'll be off on the tour to Brooklyn. Leading the ride today, we have some very accomplished cyclists from Dino's Wonder Wheel. Thanks to you showing up today, we will win this. And we all look forward to riding our bikes I'm sitting on what is left of the park, of Park Avenue. As its name might imply, Park Avenue used to be a real park. Fix the subway! Fix the subway! Congestion pricing subway. is by far the, the most important thing the governor and the state legislature can do to fix our subways. We had our first Bicycle for a Day event and 14,000 people came down and learned about one thing that they could do to improve the environment. Here we are this morning at one of the best schools in New York City, PS321 in Park Slope, Brooklyn. And today's a very special day for the school because all of the kids and many of the parents are walking to save the earth. We are here this morning on behalf of over 2,600 citizens who are demanding the Ray Kelly's NYPD finally hold dangerous drivers accountable. We're standing at what used to be the most dangerous intersection in Brooklyn for bicyclists. It's the corner of Adams and Tillery. Now it's much safer because now we have a protected bike path here, uh, protected with a concrete barrier so that cyclists have uh, some measure of uh, safeguard from uh, moving traffic. Uh, my daughter Anna, my wife Zoe, we love the lane. It's uh, very important to us as uh, advocates and as residents here, so happy to see hundreds of Brooklynites and other New Yorkers out today saying yes to safety and yes to the future of New York City streets. The same message, the murder of our children has got to stop. We are here tonight to demand action because these were preventable deaths and because these were not the only children we have lost. In the past four years, we have lost 40 children in motor vehicle crashes on streets that are lacking safety improvements that we all know now save lives. This is the, one of the best Bike Month events. Marty Markowitz isn't here today, but he's with us in spirit. I mean, you can always, just feel always. the Brooklyn pride. It's just seething. 
your donations will allow him to buy a real hat. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Don't let this happen to your not-for-profit organization.